Hello everyone, I am Dr. Fayaz, geriatrician, currently working in Sri Ramachandra Medical College and Research Institute. As the NEET PG counseling is coming up, many people want to know what is actually geriatric medicine because they want to take it as a speciality. To be frank, many doctors are not aware of this speciality and does not know what geriatricians actually do. They have their own interpretations and misinterpretations as dealing with end of life patients. No, it is not like that. The entire world is aging and the life expectancy is also going up and we see a lot of elderly patients with multiple health problems. So let me tell you briefly what you actually learn during your residency period. So geriatric medicine is basically a medical specialty. The subject is more like internal medicine. You will learn all the systems like neurology, nephrology, cardiology and you will be posted in all these departments during your second year of residency. But the thing is, you are going to see the patients with a different lens and the approach is somewhat different from how we treat an adult patient. On top of that, we have specialty specific things like dealing with multimorbidity and atypical presentations, polypharmacy, dealing with neurogeriatrics like Parkinson's disease, dementia, CVA, etc. Dealing with patients with frequent falls, osteoporosis, frailty, sarcopenia, dealing with incontinence, chronic pain management, to name a few. Next question, is geriatric medicine an end specialty? The answer is no. You are eligible to do DM in critical care and hospital medicine in AIMS Rishikesh. Or inside India, you have fellowships like geriatric rheumatology in BHU Varanasi, geriatric oncology in Tata Memorial Center, Mumbai. Apart from this, Tamil Nadu MGR University and CMC Vellore offer fellowship courses like Diabetology, Palliative Medicine, Pain Medicine and Infectious Diseases. If you want to become a Neurologist or Cardiologist or Nephrologist, this is not the field for you because as of now, we don't have any further specialization. Maybe in the near future, it will come. Let me also tell you, we are pushing it for super speciality like Neurology, Cardiology as we also want to excel in neurogeriatrics, cardiogeriatrics, etc. As of now, within our field, within the system, there is some resistance from few people because of the difference of opinions in getting super speciality. But we are determined and we will achieve it in the near future. The best place to study is, of course, we have two, three top institutions. Number one is Madras Medical College, where the postgraduate course started during 1996 and it is almost nearing 30 years. So that is followed by AIMS and the CMC Vellore. Basically, geriatric medicine is not treating a single disease. It is looking at the patient as a whole from head to foot, looking at all the comorbidities. So it is a very challenging field. We try to improve the quality of life of patients and make them independent. If you ask me, geriatric medicine is the specialty of the future. In India, it is still developing, but with a massive potential. In abroad, like UK, US, Australia, Canada, it is already a well-established specialty.